Yeah, that's right, Leslie. So there's three things that you need to know about well, what to do next time and how to prepare yourself. So I actually spoke with an insurance claims specialist to learn a little bit more. He says, take pictures of the damage. That's the biggest thing you can do. Take as many pictures and videos of the damage as you can to provide that to your insurance company. Well, the next thing that you're going to want to do is call your insurance company. You want to call them in the moment, but also before our next event, call your insurance company to understand what your policy is and to know what your, your coverage is, to know if you're covered for wind damage or if a tree falls on your house, to know that you're covered for that. And the last thing that you want to do is protect any damage to your current property. So that means if a tree fell on your roof or you have some roof damage, put a tarp over your roof so that it stays safe because you might not be covered for the additional damage. Now, I spoke with Vince Perry, an insurance claims uh, expert, to learn more kind of about that third one. Here's what he had to say. You have to mitigate your damages, which is you have to protect your properties from further damage. So if you have the unfortunate event of a tree falling on your roof and it causes a hole, don't just leave the hole open and wait for the insurance company to come see it. Cover it up, put a tarp up, call a company to dry it up, to do whatever it is, but it's called mitigating your damages. If you do not do any of those things that I just mentioned or the things that are listed in that part of the policy, they could deny your claim outright, even if you have coverage, because you're not doing your responsibility as a policyholder. So with the chance of more wet weather on the way later this week, if you do have damage to your roof, take the proper precautions now. Like you said, put up a tarp, dry it up if you can so that you can mitigate some of more of those uh, losses and potentially costs. That is really good information, mm -hmm. Michaela.